Hey everyone, welcome back to Two Tens Left. Today I got a special episode for you. This rifle here was sent to me by IWI USA. Uh, it is the American division of IWI. And this is the Zion 15 SPR, or Special Purpose Rifle. It's an 18 inch barrel. Uh, that is a one and eight twist with a 5.56 NATO chamber. It is has a Timney collaboration match trigger that breaks at around a crisp one pound, very similar to the Geisley SSAEX trigger. It's beautiful. It's got a B5 SOP mod stock, a B5 grip, standard 90 degrees degree safety, standard charging handle, and just your normal A2 flash hider. What's really unique about this rifle, it's got a 17 inch free float rail with the Arca rail built onto it. As you can see here, I have Arca accessories already put on the rifle just to demonstrate this. The optic that was going to be mounted to this rifle here is my Athlon Cronus Gen 2. This will be a four and a half to 29 by 56 objective with a 34 millimeter tube that is going on so that this rifle is intended to shoot the IWI gas gun series matches this year. But also I'm gonna take it to a PRS match because this is designed to kind of be a long range competition AR build from IWI. Uh, and while you're gonna get a bunch of match videos of this at the IWI matches, I really wanted to take it to PRS, um, which is, you know, a smaller target, slightly longer stage time match series to see how this thing holds up in one of the premier long range match series. Uh, I, in full disclosure, have relationships with some of the senior guys over at IWI US, and I know a bunch of their other management team because I shoot with them at their matches. They're from people who I consider personal friends. However, despite my relationship with those individuals, I will give you 100% honest, unadulterated opinions about this rifle. Um, you know, for starters, one, the B5 stock and the B5 grip, I absolutely love as far as a standard home defense rifle goes. But for a competition rifle such as this one, uh, that's going to get switched out for a Magpul stock, the PRS Lite specifically. The MDT Elite grip will replace the B5 grip. I have a Radian Raptor and Talon coming, so the safety and the charging handle will be switched out. And the A2 is going to come off in favor of a Precision Armament Hypercap, which is a really, really strong, really big break to kind of cut some recoil. Now, what this rifle also has that I'm 50 50 on is an adjustable gas block. Me personally, uh, I don't typically run adjustable gas blocks. I find them to be just an additional failure point for possible malfunctions. However, I do know guys who have this rifle and have adjusted it and have amazing, amazing luck with it. So I'm gonna give it a try. Uh, this is just kind of an introduction video explaining my relationship with IWI, the fact that they sent me this rifle free of charge for testing and evaluation. Um, this rifle may go back to them in this configuration at the end of the year, or it may stay with me. That's uh, something that's up to them. Um, and because of that, I am not gonna have any personal attachment to this rifle until they decide that yes, it is staying with me or no, it's going back to them. Uh, I happen to already be fond of the gun. I think the Zions are well-made. I think that they had a lot of thought that went into you know, kind of putting out an affordable but quality AR to the public. I think they're a really good choice uh, for kind of like a first AR, whether it be just the standard 16 inch model or even the special purpose model here that is geared more towards around shooting competitions. Uh, with the right muzzle brake, as, as this is right now, I would ditch my ARCA attachment, run the rail they have, but I mean, this would be a great three gun straight out of the box with, with almost nothing done to it. Uh, 
I'm not a three gun competitor. I haven't been for many, many years. So because of that, this will get tailored a little bit more towards what I'm going to be doing with it. And I'm gonna put it through its paces. Uh, sometime around mid season, you'll get an update about the rifle, continued thoughts on, on its performance and how it's doing. You'll have several match videos so you can see exactly what I'm talking about in the performance of the rifle through those matches before the mid-season update. After the mid-season update, I may put a 24-inch barrel on this with a rifle plus one gas port on it to make it a little bit softer recoiling with that big, long, heavy barrel, just to make it more of a, a PRS shooter or for what it's intended to do. I'm going to run it in a 223556 configuration all year. I'm not gonna change its caliber. And I'm really gonna see what this thing is capable of as it is kind of out of the box with minimal upgrades that won't affect the function, just the personal form fit to me, right? Uh, long range shooting is a lot of being comfortable behind the rifle and how it fits you. So the only things that I'm gonna do to this rifle are going to be things that are cosmetic. They're not really gonna change the performance. Um, after that, mid-season update i may swap some general parts around so that it then will perform in a way that i want it to perform so i can compare and contrast my how i like to build a rifle from the ground up versus what was given to me here and you guys will continue to get updated opinions and, and feelings about it this is a uh, you know, first impressions right out of the box, brand new. I'm not very good at unboxings. That's why you didn't get an unboxing video. I'm not very comfortable doing them. You'll also get a range video where I zero this with my match ammo for the season. And you'll, like I said, you'll get that mid-season update. And at the end of the year, after the IWI finale and extra match in November, you'll get a end of the year thoughts as an overall totally encompassing look at this rifle. Uh, I'm really excited for it. I think they're amazing rifles. I personally wanted to support companies that either align with my personal values or are companies that I know people like. So Precision Armament, IWI, Working Man Tactical, they're all companies that are doing things for the shooting sports that I, I support and I appreciate. But also they have good people and quality products. So with those two things in mind, we're going to get this out on the range soon. You'll see at that point, the small cosmetic changes I've made, and we'll see how this thing shoots. We'll get it zero to 50, we'll check it at 100 and probably 200. And then from there, sometime at the end of March or April, uh, since I will be ROing the first March match for IWI as a requirement to walk their prize table, you may see a friend of mine shoot this rifle, uh, set up as I set it up, or, you'll see it in April. But guys, thank you so much for again. Please like and subscribe. Please share the video. Um, but I really appreciate it. This is going to be a really exciting year for me. I like a lot of things about this gun. And I really think it's going to do some amazing, amazing things. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one.